Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and also hit that subscribe button to join the Books Nation and don't forget to hit the bell as well to never miss a video. Stay bookmarked. It's your boy Books and I'm back with another tutorial for you guys and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the momentum crossover in NBA 2K Mobile. So a couple of days ago I was just playing around trying some dribble moves and I pulled off one move and I looked at it again I looked at the footage and I realized it was the momentum crossover. I didn't think you could do it in this game but I finally figured it out and it's not that difficult so we're going to get straight into it. So first off what you want to do is enable dribble moves. You got to turn on that right stick or else you wouldn't be able to do the move. I mean I didn't even need to say that that was pretty much obvious. Moving on to the next part executing the move. If you want to do the momentum crossover what you want to do is flick the right stick to the left and then right after depending on which hand the ball is in you want to flick the left stick either to the right or to the left right now as you can see the ball's on my right hand so what i'm going to do is flick the right stick to the left then immediately hold the left stick to the left then my player is going to execute the momentum crossover it's basically the same thing if the ball's on your left hand as well you just have to go in the other direction with the left stick so if the ball's on my left hand you want to flick the right stick to the left and then quickly flick the left stick to the right. I mean, if you're good with dribble moves, this is gonna take you a couple of seconds to get down. And if you practice it, you can execute it, do it a couple of times back to back, and you could chain it with other moves. It's pretty neat that you can do that in this game, the momentum dribble. And also, side note, you cannot do this with big men. You can't do it with centers and power forwards. You can only do the move with players with a high dribble rating. Basically, most point guards and most shooting guards, and some small forwards as well. I was able to do it with my small forward, Elgin Baylor. Also, one annoying thing is you cannot practice this move in the drills. You can't do it in the 2v2 or even the shooting practice. I tried it so many times, you just cannot do it. And I honestly don't know why. It makes no sense. It would have been easier to practice it over there. But you can only practice in game, sadly. But it takes a short while to get it down, so you guys will be good. Anyway, it's been your boy, Books. Just wanted to bring this quick video for you guys. If this video helped you out, be sure to drop a like on it. Share it as well. Also, let me know in the comment section down below if there's anything you didn't understand. I'll try and help you out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay bookmarked. Yak. Look at Iguodala again. He's trying to do the same thing. Come on, we got to stop that. Good defense. Every day is not Christmas. Oh, cousin got the ball. Get that out of here. I'm first team all defense, baby. Not in our house. Come on, team. Pass up court. Oh, look at Curry. Don't reach. Young blood. Oh, you get punished.